Hello YouTube, Brad Titan here uh, with another review, Geo Man, uh, you and my gaff now. Um, I bought a, a little while ago, I bought a Grey Hulk, probably about, about a year ago, I bought a Grey Hulk comic kit from Sideshow Collectibles and for the longest time it sat just here. Literally it sat in the middle of this table, I, it does not fit in any of my displays, dead toff, asbestos, anything you want to put it on. So I had to find a way to get it covered up and safe because my nephew just likes to like pat it on the head and stuff. So I was having a like a small stroke every time he came around. <laughs> so I Alex managed to find this guy. Now this guy has him on Facebook. Yep. displays here. Well, it was um, there was a a post on Facebook on the collectors um, statue collectors forum, mm. and um, someone said that they had one made. They put their pictures up, and then he put a few other pictures of other stuff he could do. Um, I can't remember his full name. It was James... It's Pamplin. James Pamplin. And he's on Facebook. That's and uh, he's got... If you look up um, Immortal Cases and Displays, it comes up. Uh, he is a member of the um, Statue Collector groups. And we will, be, we will be putting... Uh, we'll be, I'll be tagging him into the post anyway when I put it on Facebook. But, yeah. So we found that. George, George went and collected it. Sorry, sorry George. Yeah, there. so... No, it's fine. Um, so I went and... I went down... He's in, I think he's in Northampton. I drove down there with the wife to collect this. Um, he does deliver, so if you're in the UK and you want a few pieces, he will deliver it to you at a reasonable price. I never told my wife the price. Good thing, because we drove up there took the whole day, so we won't talk about how much it actually was to, to deliver it. But I ended up picking this up for like £94, you know, and it fits him absolutely perfectly. So it's got a mirrored back, you know, it's a solid wood base, and then obviously it's, uh, it is glass. I think it's like about five or six mil thick glass. Um... I decided against safety glass because if it breaks or cracks, I prefer it to do that as opposed to shatter and leave my statue completely ruined. Do you want to go over the measurements? Because it is a pretty big uh, box. Oh, uh, well, the best thing to do for that is to measure it here. So width-wise, it's about 23 inches. Height-wise, including the base, it's about 26 and a half. And depth, it's got to be around 20, maybe. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So, yeah, it's 19 because we um, just want to say that we did look up online and um, there was a German company that made acrylic boxes and they wouldn't touch anything above 50 centimetres. Yeah. You had to have one side yeah, was that wasn't 50 centimetres, like above 50 centimetres, and they wouldn't do it. And then there was a company that would do it and uh, their prices were ridiculous. So four times that price. So yeah, so... Um, and also acrylic doesn't do very well. Mm. Clear acrylic doesn't do very well. Apparently it, it, it starts to... You know, you can see it's not clear, not like mm. glass. Do you want to um, turn your lights off and then we'll just see if you can turn the uh, shut display? The yeah, just see if that will work. Well, I put these lights, um, everyone that's interested in collecting will know about these puck lights. The gentleman said to me that James said to me that the guy who made this said that he could have, you know, if you phone and you want lights like embedded into it, he can do that. But I just, I'm quite happy with it as it is. He's done so, a few of those on the group, as you how it looks. He's done an Iron Man display. Yeah. Yeah, um, it looks a lot better in person, but I think you're going to get glare on the camera. Um, this, um, lower. That's as I it. say, this. Oh, I can't so echo. obviously with the puck lights, you get the remote control, and you've got the low light. So if you want just a faint light, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's still quite bright because it's like about two o'clock in the afternoon here. Yeah, and then that's the full light. Also, I think the um, just in general, yeah, it's too light in the in here to actually pick them up properly. Mm. But uh, I, I really like the mirror back. Pick up all the detailing on the back of the piece. Because a lot of the time the back of the pieces will get missed, yeah, as we were just talking about with, um, you know, our uh, George's uh, Ghost Rider. There's a lot of detail in the back which will never get seen, which is a shame. Um, so yeah, I mean, what I'll do is I'll put this on Facebook. I'll tag um, James to that. I'll see if I can add his link on Facebook, and uh, you know, if, if you guys want to get in touch. Yeah. Um, you know, go go to him. He's, he's, he's yeah, really good work. Reasonable price. Reasonable and this price. was quick. I, I spoke to him, and it was this was ready for me in a week. Yeah, like seven days. This was ready. Mm. So I went and picked it up within a week, and he did a really cracking job with it. I think he apologised for it taking too long as well. I think he did. Yeah. yeah he's a good guy. Was, I met him. We spoke for about twenty five minutes. You know, he's a really lovely guy. Honest. He's the sort of guy that you definitely want to do business with. So uh, I'll be. We'll be definitely purchasing some more. So that's, uh, again, more tool cases and displays on Facebook. Uh, we're Rad Titan, so take care, guys. Peace. Peace.